Smack up, ladies and gentlemen. It is week three. We're still here. You're still here. Thank goodness gracious. Oh my golly. We've got a fun one this week. All, right, all parties involved will be participating in the exact same rep scheme with the exact same range of motion. In other words, really kind of limited scaling abilities here. We'll discuss them when we get there. But in short, it's 300 meters on the rower for everyone, 15 bar facing burpees. It's then 400 meters on the rower, 20 bar facing burpees. 500 meters on the rower, 25 bar facing burpees, 600 meters on the rower, and then high five yourself because you just finished. So in short, today's workout is for time. Your score's total time will accumulate all four members, all right, and that's what it will be. So recognize that on the rower, there's really no wrong way to do it. The only thing that you need to realize is you are responsible for resetting your monitor every single time. Okay, so now I will pull, let's say for 300. Wow, fast 300, excellent job. I come off, all right, I will do my reps, and we'll show you those in a moment, but recognize once I complete those reps, we are not going up from what's left on here. You must reset your monitor. You can reset it as soon as you get off. You can reset it in between your reps. You can wait until you're finished and just start pulling and the thing will turn on on itself. However you choose to do it is up to you, but you are responsible for readjusting that. To that point, I finished my 300 meter row. I have a bar set up. However many weights you want to show up and put on either side is your prerogative. What we are looking for again, just like in week one with that burpee box jump over, is you must be perpendicular to your barbell, okay? So performing that burpee, chest, belly, thighs, everything touches the ground. I'm perpendicular to the bar, peel myself up. The way you choose to get up is your choice. Those of us that like to step up, that's fine. Those of us that like to jump up, that's fine. Those of us that want to be as speedy as possible and would like to pivot up, that is fine, okay? However you want to get up, you want to step up, I don't care, all right? What I care about is how you get over. So again, performing that burpee, I peel, maybe I take a step forward, both feet must leave and land at the same time. That is one rep. Right, you turn around, again, facing your bar, you can step up if you'd like. We will not allow a skip, okay? We will also not basically allow when you jump to be somewhat parallel to your barbell. Those are two no reps. To that point, you need to scale to a step over, and that is the only scaling option that we will have. You can do that, but again, it will be with a point deduction. So consider that. But obviously, not trying to dissuade anyone, that jump is gonna cause issues for us, Select the step over and still complete the same reps, the same range of motion. That's your only distinct, uh, distinction. So again, 300 meters on the row, 15. 400 meters on the row, 20. 500 meters on the row, 25. 600 meters on the row, you are done. You must reset your rower at some point, parallel, or pardon me, perpendicular to your burpee, two feet leave, two feet land. If you have any further questions, just ask the coach, all right? Don't be concerned. It's everything that you should have been doing already, so just doing it even better this time. Good luck, get after it, and gobble up, ladies and gentlemen. Turkeys are still alive, so are you. Keep moving, high five yourself. Smack down, lift yourselves up. Let's do it. <laughs> 